y'all. Happy Friday. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Sonali and I recently graduated from UCF in May. I'm currently living in Austin, Texas. I moved here about three to four months ago, so I'm still kind of getting used to it, but I am loving it so far. Today is a pretty normal day. Um, I actually am going to be second shooting a wedding later on tonight just for three hours Which is honestly perfect because later tonight my boyfriend and I are going to a wig party Which is super fun and I don't think I've ever Been to a wig party this mess over here. That's like wigs <laughs> from Amazon Don't mind my fire alarm because Ryan just put a work order in so hopefully they come fix it before the weekend because that's gonna be so annoying if I have to like live with that for the weekend. Today is a just get my life together kind of day. I feel like every day is like that to be honest. Um, yesterday I actually went to a coffee shop with my friend Nagin and we just got so much stuff done and it made me feel so good about myself because I usually just work from home and I sit on my couch and work and it's so bad for me because I get so sleepy and like unmotivated. Being in a coffee shop definitely motivates me more just seeing everyone also working and hustling and grinding and stuff so that was nice. I definitely need to do that more but today I need to clean the apartment because it is a pigsty and I want it to be just like nice and clean for the weekend. I'm so sorry about this fire alarm, it's so annoying. So I guess insert some cleaning montages right now. <laughs> I just cleaned the whole apartment. There's a couple more things I need to do, like take out the trash, but I'm so thankful because the maintenance guy just came and he fixed the alarm and there was like some leakage like on the ceiling and so he like painted over that. Honestly, our apartment has like the best maintenance. Every time we put in a work order, it gets done like within the next like two, three hours. Today's video is actually sponsored by Honest Beauty and I have a really exciting product to share with you guys that I think y'all are gonna love because I'm personally loving it. Um, this is the Extreme Length Mascara and Lash Primer. I've been using this mascara for a couple of weeks now and the first thing I noticed is that it separates my lashes so well. Like, this is a heaven scent because I've been trying to search for a mascara that does that. I have like a heavy hand when putting on mascara, so I'll end up putting on like 10 coats or more, which is actually insane. But even when I do it with this mascara, it doesn't get clumpy at all. So that is super helpful. Also, this product comes with a lash primer on the other side of the mascara. And this just helps to kind of lengthen those lashes even more. I'm so happy that this product came into my life because I've been trying to grow out my natural lashes and stray away from falsies because even though I'm getting better at putting them on, you can still see the band and just sometimes you just don't want to worry about it falling off and stuff. So I've been really trying to just use like normal mascara. So I'm excited to show you guys how this product works. I'm going to switch my lens. I'm going to do my face makeup and then come back and do the demo. I just finished my face makeup and I left mascara for the last step. Before I apply, I'm actually going to curl my lashes just a little bit. First, I'm going to apply the primer side and then I'm going to wait 30 seconds and then go into the mascara. If you guys are curious, this is what the wand looks like. I forgot to put the primer on the bottom lashes, so I'll do that now. As you can tell, this mascara gives you sky high lift and I'm obsessed with just like the way it separates my lashes. You can purchase this in Target, Amazon, and Walgreens. Thank you to Honest Beauty for sponsoring this vlog. Now that my lashes are on point, we can start packing up for my second shooter gig tonight. I'm going to make sure I have all of my lenses. Uh, I think I may need to like clear an SD card. Need to get some batteries. And then I have to choose what I'm wearing. It is so cold outside. 
I swear like it keeps going from like summer to winter and there's like no fall in between. I just really want that 70 degree weather for a while, not 50 degrees. And it's, I don't know, it's just so cold. It's just like so windy today. So I'm gonna have to like layer up a ton because I'm not sure if the wedding is outside or inside for tonight. Also for the party, I do not know what I'm gonna wear because I have a pink wig. I wish I had like a white or a black solid sweater because that would have been so much easier. But I have more like colored sweaters, like yellow and maroon and stuff like that. I mean, maroon, I guess maybe wouldn't have looked that bad. I'm also not gonna do my hair. This is just kind of like air dried um because i'm sorry the lighting is getting so dark but because i am actually gonna probably have to braid my hair to fit under the wig <laughs> my hair is getting so long i was like looking at um pictures of when we just moved here and literally i cut my hair like so short after graduation i think it was like right here and let's see where it is now it's like under my boob already like my hair grows so fast which i'm so thankful for because if I ever get like the worst haircut ever I'm set like my hair just grows so fast um but yeah so I'm gonna have to like braid it and like bobby pin which hopefully like it goes well because I don't really have time for error <laughs> and I know that my hair doesn't not really hold up well in bobby pins just because my hair is really thick so I ran out the door because I wanted to be a little bit early and I'm on the way to the venue So I just got done with the wedding. It wasn't too long because I was the second shooter. She only needed me for two hours, so that was nice because I got to come home early. And I was a little bit stressed because the party starts at 8. Not that we would like actually get there when it starts, but like to come home at 8, well, 8. 30 probably and then to like get ready especially because I have to do a wig and like all that like I was just like a little bit stressed about that so it was good to come home a little bit early but um a mascara update they're still like super freaking long and like they stayed up so it has my stamp of approval but right now I'm gonna try to braid my hair and hope that this wig actually stays on my freaking head Actually turned out pretty good. Mine's totally Kyle. Taylor, you gotta put your one. wig on. Oh no. Styled by Sonali. Oh, it's nice. I'm wearing my shirt. <laughs> Hello. We're kind of matching. <laughs> what do you think? Should we head out? Is my wig showing? Wig is fine. Your wig's better with the, with the hat on. Push. Hey y'all, good morning. It is actually Sunday. I skipped the whole day yesterday for the vlog just because it was like my first Saturday off in so long because I usually second shoot weddings on Saturdays. We basically did nothing, um, but at sunset we actually rented bikes and we biked on the Ladybird boardwalk or hike and bike trail or something like that. And that was actually really fun. And then we went to our usual sushi place. Um, and they have happy hour Saturday and Sunday. So if you guys are in Austin, it's like a cheaper sushi place. Like, you know, not like the nicest. It's called Zeon Sushi if you guys are in Austin. It's in like the Mueller area. Highly recommend it if you're just like wanting some cheap sushi, but still good sushi. Today we don't really have that many plans either, but I still wanted to like kind of like finish off the vlog and vlog a little bit for y'all today. Um, I do have an engagement shoot later on today which I probably won't vlog, but we're doing it at this place called Maddie's, which I've heard so much about. Um, apparently there are like peacocks running around in this restaurant like yard. I don't understand, but I guess I'll just have to go and see it for myself. I just got ready, got glam. I used the Honest Beauty mascara again today. It's definitely gonna be my new go-to mascara. Ryan's still in bed. Me and Sophie are up. I just fed her 
And then I'm gonna take her out and then we're gonna head out to the door. So we are on the way to Starbucks and basically I'm getting a lens back that I gave to someone. I don't know, maybe I'll tell the story at a later date, but pretty much I have my old Canon body. I literally don't have like a cap for this, so don't judge me. <laughs> but I have an old Canon body so that I can test it out and see if like there's any scratches or anything like that um, before I actually take it back. It's honestly so weird to have this in my hand right now. It's just, it feels like a lot more chunky than my Sony. Ryan was like, why haven't you sold it already? But it's literally like, there's a missing button. <laughs> And just, you know, I don't know if anyone would, would want this, but if anyone does want a Canon 70D body only and it's like kind of worn out for like really, really cheap, let me know. I mean, it still works. It's just, you know, it's a little beaten up. So we secured the lens back. Weirdly enough, this was like the lens that it was really hard for me to get rid of. So it's kind of annoying that it came back to me because now I'm just like, oh, I love this one so much and I miss my Canon. But I mean, I know Sony's like better. It's just that this one's a 51.2 and Sony doesn't have a 51.2. And Ryan was saying like, oh, why don't you like use it as like your second body? But I feel like it's just like weird if I'm using two different brands. And plus like, that's why I got a new camera is because like the Canon wasn't cutting it and it was like, for, like sometimes it was like grainy and like I don't know I think it was just like time to get a new camera kind of thing so I actually will be selling this lens if you guys are interested please DM me on my um, productions account I'll put it right here you guys can DM me and then I'll let you know what the price is and shipping and all that so we are downtown we're actually gonna walk to a Starbucks and it's Sunday, so usually they have like all this free parking, but today was just not our day. We could not find parking for the life of us, so it took forever and I'm starving. a little at Starbucks and then my final cut like kept freezing on me so I was just like it's time to go so we are at lunch now we came to what's it called vinaigrette yeah <laughs> and we're gonna have some salads a little light lunch and I got my favorite soda this is the main route I don't know what flavor it is but it's just like the sprite one it is so so good my newest obsession so I got the beet salad and Sid's never tried beet before so you want to have a bite a little taste test yeah if you eat a lot of beets then your cheeks Please get red my grandma used to feed them to me all the time hmm. isn't it yummy kind of it is yummy. yeah i'm home now it's currently 3 p.m and i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because i don't really have that much to do um today except for the engagement shoot later on but i'll be too busy taking photos if you guys are interested in this amazing mascara I mean, like, look at my lashes. I'll link it down below. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.